So I promised some time ago that I would make a squat video, tips and tricks how to squat. Um, there are like million videos on YouTube that show you how to squat, but for some reason people want me to explain it. Which I totally understand, which because I'm very good at explaining things. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to really show you how to squat in that way like most of the videos do, but I'm only going to show you these little tips and tricks that you have to know to be able to squat heavy weight. So the first tip is if you are a beginner at squatting, don't squat in your regular gym shoes. What I mean is, don't squat in a runner's shoes. Squat on your bare feet, or if you have Converse shoes, use them. Most people don't want to buy regular lifting shoes when they begin, and that's okay. It's really great to start at bare feet. Is hold the bar as tight as you can. It's really important that you hold the bar really tight. So use all the force and all the strength you got to hold the bar really, really, really tight. Like this. You can hold around the bar like this, or you can hold the bar like this. And I do that, I hold that. And I thrust it to my back. Number three is, when you're holding the bar tight to your back, it's really important that you put your elbows under the bar. If you're doing this, it's not good. You have to put it under. Then you use the pressure from your upper back to hold the bar really tightly against your back. That way the bar won't move at all. And you've got a strong position. Number four, that strong position. Do you know what that strong position is? I'm going to show you. So your strong position is the position that you stand in when you're taking the bus and the bus is moving all around. So what you do is you bend your knees a bit, your ass is like this, and your back is a little bit forward and you stand like this. This is also the fight position. If someone is going to fight you, you're going to stand in this position. The bus position <laughs> and the fight position. That is your squat position. Number five, stop air humping. You don't have to hump anyone while you're squatting. It's true, you don't have to hump anyone. So you're standing in your great position very strong position, you're on the bus, it's moving all around, you squat, you stand up, and you start humping. Stop humping. This is not good for squatting. You will hurt your back. I'm going to show you with a bow on my back. See how the bar is not held with your back right now? See the difference? Can't, do you think you can hold like 400 kilos with your back like this? You can't. You can like this, but you can't like this. Okay. Tip number six, and it's the final tip of this video that I am making. I will probably make another video about squatting because I think it's needed. Um, but this is about how you use your feet to squat. Okay, so you've seen a lot of people making the mistakes when they're squatting to get their knees together when they stand up. So I'm going to give you a tip, just a thinking tip. So you have to think this while you're squatting. Okay, so you're in your squatting position, you're squatting down with a bar on your back, and then you're moving up, and when you're moving up, 
you don't want to go look like this. You have to push them out. And what you're going to think is that you're going to think about pushing the earth apart. So you're pushing the earth apart while you're standing up. And that way your knees won't fold together. If your knees always fold in when you are squatting or going up from the squat, that means that your ass is weak. Don't start do doing like extra ass exercises to make it bigger. <laughs> That's probably not good for you, but just keep on squatting with lighter weight and think about um, pushing the earth apart. Also, you can use that small rubber bands to put up around your knees and squat like that. And then you probably feel, <laughs> you will probably feel that you're pushing it out. You will feel it more probably with the rubber bands if this is a huge problem. So I hope you really enjoyed my tips and tricks. <laughs> I just finished my morning training, so I'm a little out of breath, but